H A P P Y. I'm H A P P Y. I know I am. I'm sure I am. I'm H A P P Y. I know I am. I'm sure I am. He's H A P P Y. I've got your book, Archie. Oh, thank you, Norman. Just plump my pillows, will you? <laughs> Let me tuck you in. You've made it all roly-poly. Careful. Hello, what's this? It looks like blood. What? Oh, my God, I've hemorrhaged. <laughs> Get me the nurse, quick. No, no, it's all right. It's tomato sauce. Uh, I wish you wouldn't frighten me like that. I've got enough to worry about. How's the pain, Archie? Don't talk to me about pain, Norman. I know all about pain. I've been there. I lived with it. Just don't ask me to talk about it. Oh, my God. <laughs> Sorry, Archie. I don't think I can stand much more than this. Who do you think you are, Florence Bleeding Nightingale? <laughs> what do you mean? You know what I mean. I've been watching you. You've been cutting up his meat, peeling his grapes, moistening his lips with a damp flannel. You'd think no one had ever had an operation before. Please, Figgis, not now. I haven't got the strength to argue. Well, what's the matter with you all of a sudden? I've got post-operative depression. <laughs> I don't know what came over me. I suddenly thought of Mother and... Oh, uh, God. <laughs> Never mind, Archie. You read your book. What is it? The ABC of hypochondria? <laughs> no, British birds. Oh, you're feeling better, then. <laughs> Real birds. Oh, just look at that plumage. You know, Norman, we go around with our eyes shut. We ought to live every day as though it were our last. Yes, and one day we'll be right. <laughs> I used to be like that, you know, proud, unruffled. Just look at me now. I was like these birds, thought I'd live forever. Do you know that man is the only animal who knows he's going to die? That's very interesting. No, it isn't. How does he know? Has he ever talked to a ruddy rabbit? <laughs> Do me a favour. Ignore him, Archie. Look, he's had a simple operation. I don't know what all the fuss is about. No one peeled grapes for me. <laughs> is that a kestrel? <laughs> Please don't read over my shoulder figures. Is there anything else I can do to help? Well, yes, there is something. Would you look out of the window? Is there a man outside, swarthy, dark moustache, light suit? No, no, that's the third time you've asked me that, Archie. Who is it? The Mafia? No. <laughs> no, it's just some strange fancy. I keep thinking there's this man outside. It must be my mind uh, playing tricks. He's rambling. Uh. Oh, dear. Well, what's the matter now? I want a tinkle. <laughs> oh, not again. I'll fetch a bottle. <laughs> Look, do we have to have all this? It's a perfectly good place down the corridor. Listen, Figgis, there's nothing I'd like more than to point Percy at the porcelain again. <laughs> I'm supposed to be having a complete rest. Well, you're certainly getting that. for you, Archie. Oh, yes, thank you, Norman. <laughs> That's it. I can't stand it. I'd rather watch Open University than this. What's the matter? What's the matter? 30 years of the National Health Service, the proudest jewel in Labour's crown, and I've got to watch you wait in hand and foot on this Tory twallop. Now you're even whistling for him. Some people will always be serfs at art. Just a minute, Archie. I'm going to have a word with him. No, Norman, wait. Uh... <laughs> Nurse! You could try being a bit more sympathetic, Fig. Why? You've got enough sympathy for both of us. Well, I feel sorry for him. It's no good feeling sorry. Look where that's got you. Keeper of Glover's bedpan. You want to remember the working class struggle, mate. Remember what he is. Oh, does it matter? Anyway, now they've taken our clothes, who knows what we are? The past's behind us. His isn't. It's catching up with him. That's why he wanted the bed by the window. All that rubbish about wanting to see the daffodils tossing their heads in sprightly dance. He wanted to keep a lookout for this swarthy fellow in the light suit. Don't you know what that is? That's a symbol of death. Do me a favour. That's not your symbol of death. 
You don't understand. We all have our own personal image, and that's Archie's. Listen, if Glover had a personal image, it wouldn't be like that. It'd be wearing cavalry twills and acting jacket. <laughs> His idea of heaven is where you all drink gin and tonic and God struts around with a shooting stick. I don't know about that, but what I'm saying is it's all in his mind. Oh, yes. Well, if it's all in his mind, who's that out there? Swarthy, dark moustache, light suit. Crikey! Oh, you can see him as well, can you? I'll say one thing for Archie, he's got a powerful imagination. Well, who do you think he is? I don't know. But judging by the way he's pruning his nails with that knife, I don't think he's the visiting chiropodist. Do you think we ought to tell him? Of course we ought to tell him. I wouldn't miss this for worlds. <laughs> How are you feeling, Archie? Oh, much better now. Thank you, Ryan. Good, because you've got a visitor. Swarthy, dark moustache, light suit out there. What? I think he's come to make you an offer you can't refuse. You've got to help me, Roy. Have I? Well, don't look like that. He's threatened to cut my liver out. What shall I do? Tell him you're having it done on the National Earth. <laughs> Look, I wouldn't ask, but I'm a sick man. I, I need help. You wouldn't pass by on the other side, would you? Yes. <laughs> no, you wouldn't. You know what they say about you around here? If you're in trouble, go to Figgis. Do they? Yes. <laughs> and you know why? Because they trust your fig. Oh, I wouldn't say that. It's true. Everyone knows under that rough exterior, you're all heart. Oh, I don't know. What do you mean? What bleeding rough exterior? <laughs> he just means that you're the salt of the earth, Fig. Always ready to defend the weak against the strong. Everybody knows that. I'm not just saying that. I know you're not. You would never ignore a cry for help. That's true. Good, I knew I could depend on you. What? Hey, he's coming in. Well, tell him I'm not here. We can't do that. Look, what's all this about, anyway? Well, look, I hope you won't judge me too harshly, but it's the old story, I'm afraid, of two people who thought they were in love. Strike me. I wouldn't have thought he was your type. <laughs> I'm not talking about him. It's this girl, Anna. We had this stormy relationship. Oh, yes. What do you mean, stormy relationship? Well, you know how it is, Figgis. Oh, yes, I know how it is, all right. A full moon, intoxicating perfume, eyes of fire, skin, the texture of silk. Oh, yes. What was she like? <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful, wild, passionate. The pictures fell from the wall that night, Fig. What do you mean, the pictures fell from the wall? <laughs> anyway, Nikos found out about it. He's a fiancé and he's sworn revenge. He's Greek and they take this sort of thing very seriously. They say he's very handy with a knife. Now, what do you mean the pictures fell from the wall? Well, if you think I'm confronting an enraged Greek with a knife in his hand, you're very much mistaken. Now, what do you mean the pictures fell from the wall? Will you shut up? How does he know I'm here? Well, maybe he thinks you've had an accident. Either that or he's going to arrange one. Look, all you've got to do is hide me. Well, what do you expect me to do? Drop you down the laundry chute? Please, fig. Oh, all right. Norman, go and keep an eye out for him. What are you going to do? Am I? Just leave it to me. I thought I was safe in hospital. In this place, you must be joking. I don't want to worry you, but people have been known to die in here. <laughs> what are you doing? Just shut up and give me an hand. Oh, hello. Uh, what can I do for you? I'm looking for a man. Oh, you've come to the wrong place, mate. We've all had surgery. <laughs> Who's the one behind the curtain? Shh, what? keep your voice down. He's in a bad way. It's no good talking to him. He hasn't spoken since he came in here. Have you seen him yet? Except for the odd remark. <laughs> seen who? Who does he mean? He's, oh, he's rambling. He's referring to D E A T H. Death? Shh. <laughs> That's a word we don't use round here. It's an image that haunts us day and night. I think I take a look behind the curtain. No, no, you mustn't. Oh, uh, oh, oh. oh no. <laughs> Sorry, I, I didn't realize uh, what happened to him. A hotel plane fire. <laughs> His plane crashed an hotel. <laughs> he was lucky to get out alive. <laughs> they had to cut him out of the wreckage. Left yeah. quite a bit behind. <laughs> Must have been terrible. Oh, yes, it was. Yes, it was terrible. Mind you, it did have its bright side. Do you know when they got him out of there, his watch was still keeping perfect time? <laughs> <laughs> He'd have been all right if he hadn't gone back for the others. Just an heroic fool, that's all. Yeah. Well, it seems I've made a mistake. 
The man I'm looking for is a cowardly snake. Oh, perhaps I've seen him. What's he look like? Oh, he thinks he's so handsome, you know? Always he's looking in front of the mirror. Always with the comb. Always the handkerchief from out of his sleeve, you know? <laughs> he sounds nauseating. He wronged my woman. The swine. Then he abandoned her. Ah, you know what you've got there, mate, don't you? You've got your vile seducer there. Yeah. Doesn't love anybody but himself. No. Thinks he's God's gift to women. Yeah. Yes, I know someone just like that. If he was chocolate, he'd eat himself. <laughs> My advice is forget him. I cannot forget him. It's an insult which can only be wiped out in blood. Oh. Shh, that's another word we don't use around here. Now you've upset him again. We were hoping to take the bandages off this morning. Once we'd covered up the mirrors. <laughs> yes, you're right. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Forgive me. I'll go now. Goodbye. Goodbye, Nikos. <laughs> How did you know my name? Didn't you say? No, I don't think so. I smell snakes. <laughs> I think I have a look behind his back. Oh, no, 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 I, I didn't think I... Thanks, sorry for a little talk. I come back later. Have you been lying to me? When I said to him, Dicky Bird, why do you sit? See, willow, tit, willow, tit, willow. <laughs> Very good figures. What's the matter with Glover? He's like the dicky bird. He's feeling a bit willow tit willow this morning. <laughs> Come on now, Glover. No need to hide. I want to have a good look at you. No, I don't think he can face it today, Doctor. <laughs> Nonsense. It's only your appendix. No harm done. Better off without it. Come on, old son. Give me a big smile. <laughs> God! What happened? <laughs> Star? I know I am. I am. I make it to see Sure I am. H A P P Y. I know what I'm talking about, Gupta. I said bandages, and I mean bandages. Why is Glover wearing bandages all round his head? Come on, now, Glover, show him your bandages. What bandages? <laughs> the bandages you are wearing. Where are they? This is your idea of a joke, Glover. It's not very funny. It certainly isn't. Mr. Thorpe's got to operate this afternoon. Look at them hands. He couldn't cut his dinner with them. <laughs> not on. Thank you, Figgis. It's all right. At least someone here is taking this seriously. Perhaps you can explain. Why is he wearing those bandages? What bandages? <laughs> Don't you start, Figgis. Good day. I want a word with you. <laughs> What do you think about that, Gupta? Yes. Yes, what are they up to? Figures was definitely covering for him. Mind you, it is possible that Glover is suffering a personality disorder brought on by surgery, which causes him to regress into himself and lose his identity. <laughs> Hence the desire to be faceless, which manifests itself in his schizophrenic behavior with the bandages. You mean to say he's gone bananas? <laughs> you could put it like that. He looks sane enough to me. But how do you explain the bandages? What bandages? <laughs> Don't you start. All I know is I have not seen any bandages, and that muscle in your face is twitching again. What? Now, wait a minute, Gupta. I'm not the one who's going bananas. Oh, no. You don't see me standing around talking to myself. No, not going next door. I'm a clear, rational mind. I'm not given to fancies. I don't see things that aren't there. <laughs> He's still there. What's he doing? Throwing his knife into a tree. I think maybe he's waiting till it gets dark. I don't think this is a good idea. Of course it's a good idea. Come on, let's have a look at you. <laughs> My God, the return of the invisible man. Come on, get in the glover's bed. I don't want to. Come on. He's been eating biscuits again. That's the least of your worries. What do you mean? If there's going to be any violence... There won't be any violence. He's looking for somebody swathed in bandages. But when he finds out that it's you and not me, he'll be satisfied. But when I take them off, he's going to expect some horrible, ghastly sight. Well, what makes you think he's going to be disappointed? <laughs> I'm not a horrible, ghastly sight. You will be if you don't get into this bed. Look, am I asking too much, Norman? After all, I had your operation. 
Yes, but you had an anaesthetic. Look, you know what, you know what I would say if I were in your position? It's a far, far better thing that I do now than I've ever done. It's a far, far better thing. <laughs> Who said that? Sidney Carton. That's wonderful. Did he say anything else? Not a lot. It was just before they cut his head off. What? <laughs> He's gone. He must be somewhere in the building. Right, quick. Oh, dear. What's, What's the matter? matter? I'm getting my prickly heat again. Oh. <laughs> oh! Oh, my poor darling. I didn't know. I thought you tired of me. I didn't know you'd had an accident. Oh, I said such terrible things about you. Please say you forgive me or I'll kill myself. <laughs> Do you forgive your Anna? Yeah. Well, why didn't you send me a message? If I hadn't followed Nikos, I knew he'd found you. All day he sharpens the knife. Why didn't you tell me you were here? I know. You wanted to face this alone. Oh, you're so brave. Oh. You're so noble. Oh. Am I hurting you? No. No. <laughs> How can I make you understand? Nothing matters except I love you. Feel my heart. Feel how she beats. Like a bird struggling to be free. Can you feel it? Yeah. <laughs> and I can feel yours. See? I cover it with kisses. Oh! Oh! But darling, are you strong enough for visitors? Yes, yes! But you must want to rest. I'll leave you. I'll wait down the corridor. If you need me, you send for me and I'll come. Don't go! No, no, you must be tired. Mm. Sagapo, my darling. Sagapo? <laughs> uh, what does Sagapo mean? It's Greek. It means I love you and you can wipe that smile off your face. <laughs> How do you know I'm smiling? After that, anybody would be smiling. <laughs> she said she loved me. No, she didn't. She said she loved me. She was speaking to me. She was speaking to a crepe bandage. <laughs> there could have been a sweet pudding under there for all she knew. <laughs> Come to think of it, there's a strong resemblance. Now you've upset him. Do you think he's jealous? Of course he's jealous. I think I'll go down there and tell her not to wait. Oh, no, you won't. You stay here. Wait for Nikos. I'll let him be a few minutes. Oh, yes. Look, I know how you must feel. Being cooped up in here, you're bound to get them sooner or later. Get what? Impure thoughts. <laughs> I'm not getting impure thoughts. I've always had them. <laughs> I understand how you feel, Norman. After all, she is a magnificent woman. Dark-eyed, fiery, Latin good looks. But just remember, they go to seed very early. She'll be fat before she's 40. I wasn't going to be that long. Just a few minutes. Just... <laughs> Where's it going to lead? There's no future in it. You can't go through life wearing a crepe bandage. Well, perhaps you will like me for myself. She might, but I wouldn't depend on it. <laughs> and don't forget, you've got your body cells to consider. You think you've got prickly heat, you don't know what prickly heat is. Your circuitry's going mad. Hormones leaping about all over the place. Adrenaline's flowing. Is your mouth dry? Yes. There you are, you see, you're dehydrating. This won't do you any good at all, Norman. You've just had an operation. How are your white cells gonna feel? How are your coagulants gonna feel? I'll tell you, mate, they'll be knackered. <laughs> I suppose you're right. Of course I'm right. Hey, where are you going? Never mind where I'm going. You just wait for Nikos. <laughs> Look out, body cells. Morning. Oh, my darling, you shouldn't have come. I had to. No, but you shouldn't be on your feet. I hope I won't be for long. Sagapo! Oh, Sagapo! Oh. Uh, Anna, if you find I've changed, you won't mind, will you? Oh, no. I know you've changed. Even your voice is different. But I don't care. And I don't care if you go to seed. What? Do you know something? It's a far, far better thing I do now than I've ever, ever done. <laughs> Someone's coming. Quick, hi. I'm seeing things again. <laughs> Take a hold of yourself, Gordon. It's all in the mind. Nothing to fear but fear itself. Just overworking there. It's all. It's just pure mental exhaustion. Of course, there's nothing here. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> 
I want to stand outside this door and don't let anyone in or out, you understand? Right. Good man. Get there. I'd go through fire and flood for you. Oh, you've no idea what it's like being stuck in here. It's very frustrating. You get to thinking about skin, the texture of silk, eyes like fire, intoxicating perfume. You can go bonkers. Some go, you little raver. Someone's coming. Quick, hide. <clears throat> ah, Anna. Nikos. Where is he? What's your want? I want your lover. Huh, can't you get one of your own? Oh. <laughs> Don't sneer at me, Anna. I've come for revenge. Where is he? He's not here. I don't believe you. Well, why perhaps you'd like to search the room? Why don't you have a look in the cupboard? Ah. I will. Ah. <laughs> now what have you to say, eh? Deny he's your lover. But, well, if he's my lover, who is behind the curtains? What? My God! There are two of them! Anna, have you no shame? Oh, there was only one to start with. My God, don't tell me they're multiplying. Haven't you had enough? <laughs> Which one of you is Archie Glover? Is it you? Is it you? <laughs> and where is he? Hello! <laughs> oh, my darling! Oh, my God! Oh, oh. <laughs> there you are in the background. You coward. You a big multicolored coward. Oh. Yeah, he's not even worth my anger. You take him. Oh. No, I don't want him. Oh. He's trying to make a fool of me. No, you obviously prefer him to me. You have him. No, I never want to see him again. Take me home, Nicholas. Very well. Get out of here before I change my mind. You. You are a very lucky man. Lucky? I'm in surgery. You could have been in intensive care. <laughs> yeah, I've got a piece of good time. Mine's gone. A once brilliant intellect destroyed by overwork. The old marbles are completely dislodged now. And I'm seeing them everywhere. Take one of these tablets. They'll make you feel a little better. <laughs> are they safe? Oh, yeah. I take them all the time. They make you little salad, that is all. <laughs> Not that it'll do any good. No, it's the end of a brilliant career. Who's going to trust me with a scalpel after this? I could go gaga at any moment. <laughs> I make a P T Y. I make a P T Y. I know I am, I'm sure I am. I make a P T Y. Yes, I'm H-A-P-P-Y, I'm H-A-P-P-Y, I know I am, I'm sure I am, I'm H-A-P-P-Y, oh yes, I'm H-A-P-P-Y, yes, I'm H-A-P-P-Y, I know I am, I'm sure I am, yes, I'm H-A-P-P, H-A-P-P, only when I lie, H-A-P-P-Y.